Hello! In this video, I would like to fulfill the challenge of this month that is to use random images. So I was trying to think, okay, what exactly I can use. And from the options that I had, I chose magic cards. So I have this pile of magic cards, some terrains here and some random cards here. And I would like to use them to bring some inspiration in my session. So I would just shuffle here the terrain cards or land cards. And I will try to do the same with these um, other cards. I don't need every this amount of card. Actually, I can use less. So I will just shuffle it also. And then I'm going to use, as you can see, Cairn. I love Cairn. I always play Cairn. When I want to play something fast and simple, uh, I just get Cairn and play it. I recently made a video on Plight, and I could have used Plight also, but when I got the book, I just got this randomly from my, my smaller books in the, in, the, in the shelf and Cairn was the, what it came, uh, the one that came first. So I'm going to create a character for this adventure. And in order to do that, let's see the rules. And if you are not familiar to it, maybe you will learn something from it. But what we need to do here is basically row 3d6 for each um, attributes. But we can also roll the background first and, and, and see what we are. Maybe I will just follow the, the, follow the pages here. So let's roll first um, attributes. Let me get 3d6. And strength, I have, <laughs> okay, six. This is what I have for strength. And I have 12 dexterity and will, I have 11. Great. Uh, I can roll my HP already also. Three, hit protection. Great. So let me roll some uh, the 20s and then just to see like a name and background. Am I male or female? I do not know. A male character is one, two, three, four, five, six is female. Female character. And our name is six. Drelil, Drelil, okay, it's a weird name to me, but let's see, Dre, Drelil, okay, uh, and I can see a surname, nah, I don't need a surname for that, so I can just roll, um, let's see, background, actually, I need to roll a background, what, what are we, oops, Okay, three, butcher. So she's a butcher. I can just take the note here, butcher. Okay, she's not so strong, but she, she is good at cutting meat. And she knows a little bit. Uh, okay, character traits. Uh, I will not roll in every single trait here. I think I will roll a virtue and a vice first. Let's see. Virtue 10. Tolerant. So she is tolerant. And uh, a vice is 4. Deceitful, 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 uh, a reputation maybe, 
could be good. Three dangerous. Mm. Dangerous. This is her reputation and maybe a misfortune. Eight. Discredited. Discredited. Why? Okay, so she's a woman in this. I would say, where, where, where are we, right? I do not know. Maybe I need to take a land card and then we can start figuring out where we are and maybe build the character just to see. So, island, okay. So, in this case, in this image, I can see like... Um, it's an island, but just a very small island. No, no, I know that this is not the island itself, but uh, maybe an archipelago. Yeah, maybe we live in the in this um, area. Maybe the boat actually is something. Uh, okay, I, I have an idea. <laughs> just because I was. Uh, um, reading it uh she's a butcher okay or maybe she 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 now is a butcher because she was married to the butcher but as she is deceit deceitful deceitful uh i think the guy just um betrayed her yeah unfortunately and but but the guy is missing no one knows about him or where he is and the problem now is that it is discred discredited. So people think that she did something to him. And they think that she is dangerous. But actually she is a tolerant person. And she was even willing to um, forgive him. Nevertheless, <laughs> this is our poor character, Drello. I need to check her equipment because I'm going to try to figure out what she's going to do. But this is her backstory or maybe even the, the current moment that she is living. Uh, let's roll armor. She doesn't have any armor, so no armor. And she doesn't have... Oh, actually, it's a D20. Sorry, let's, let's roll again. So armor... Uh, she has a brigandine. Let me take note. Brigandine. For helmets and shields. She doesn't have anything. For weapons, she has four. A dagger, a good girl, or a staff. So, I think I will... I, I think a staff, maybe. A, a, a knife, a knife, a dagger, not a dagger, but maybe a knife. Yeah. Okay, let, let's pick the, the, the dagger the dagger first, and then let's see if she has something else. So, expeditionary gear. She's not an adventurer, but she has a spyglass. A spyglass. And what else? Tools. She has a fishing rod. Okay. What I think is um, that she lives in this um, in this place, uh, several islands, and maybe there are several um, people living in in small villages or communities in every single island. Maybe even maybe. Um, they are separate folks, like they have their own culture or their own leadership, like small clans or, or tribes or whatever. And she, she is now looking for her husband because the guy is missing. She knows that she didn't do anything to him. But due to this uh, tragic story of betrayal and so on, People are whispering and are talking about her and she is actually worried about it. So she she's now looking for him and maybe she heard she heard something uh, that could be a clue. 
So for now, what I what I imagine for her is that as we have a spyglass and even a, a fishing rod, I think she is in a boat or close to a boat, preparing to 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 go there. I I, I don't think she is alone, uh, but I don't want to row another character. But I will try just to, to see currently where she is by taking another card, uh, just to, to bring some kind of inspiration. And okay, this is in Portuguese, but this is um, this creature is always like um, bring some kind of uh, puzzles or, or questions or charades. Uh, so. What I think is that, or actually an oracle. I, I, I see an oracle. Maybe, maybe she's trying. She's trying to go to um, a small island that actually people avoid to go there because there is these uh, old women, actually old woman that lives there, and most people are afraid of her because. Um, she can tell uh, she can tell your your future or weird things. So she's like a witch, and no one actually want, wants to, to to be there talking too much to her. But Drelil does not see any other option, so she decides to go to this witch or actually as they call Oracle. So she's looking for 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 this woman. I'm not sure if she if, if she knows. Um, where she is in the island itself, so maybe this is the first part of her journey to look for this oracle and then to, to have some kind of answer about her husband that is missing because no one knows about him, no one knows where he is. So uh, I, I just wrote uh, the, a trinket also and it says a quill and an ink. I'm not sure if she can read, but I will just roll a bonus item because maybe she can have another weapon. And 16, actually she can have an armor or weapon. So she already has an armor, so I will roll another weapon. And it's one. So I was in doubt between dagger and staff, so in the end she's going to have both. And I need to be... Uh, cautious about these uh, inventory stuff in Cairn because we might have some fatigue and so on. But uh, I I don't want to keep track too much about it actually. But I need you to, to just be aware that if we are in a good shape to move forward with it, um, I need to put here the ammo for the brigantine. Um, where is it? I need to find it. Um, Let's see if I can find this information because the dagger and the staff they are d6 damage. So she has a dagger and a staff. She has a fishing rod. Where is the armor uh, information? I thought it was here in the gear. Ah, it is. It is. So one armor and it is bulky actually. So one, two, three, four, five. So I think I'm okay. Yeah, we are. So let's go. Let's start. So she's looking. She's looking for her husband. No one knows about him. She just remembers about the oracle. This old woman. Uh, I do not know. I can't ask the oracle actually this oracle here and I can use just a d6 for that and ask if uh, it's been a long time since since we had news about this oracle uh, my question I would like to know if if we know that she's alive this is the point here because maybe from time to time she comes to to, to a village to get uh, some kind of supplies maybe so do we know if she's alive or not and one is going to be no and six is going to be uh, yes uh, so as it's 50 percent actually four five six is going to be yes so is do we know if she is alive and four yes 
I would say yes, but because it's just a fall. So yes, we, we heard something. We are not pretty sure, but we heard that she's still out there. Maybe someone just told us that uh, yeah, we we, we 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 saw her, maybe in the market or something because she needs supplies, right? She she lives there alone, but she needs some stuff. So or maybe someone went there and 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 yeah, to talk to her, something like that. Um, so she, she she just goes to these um, she gets the, this boat and uh, is she going there alone? Yes, but okay, the but is in the end, I think she she just borrowed these um, this boat um, and there is a guy like uh, I can just roll a name very briefly. I think it is uh, his uh, her friend, and his name is sixteen. Is Melnax? So Melnax says to Drelu, "Okay, it's a shame that this is happening. I trust you. So just go there, find the oracle. I I wish I could go with." Her with you but yeah you know i have more important things to do just go there and ask her she she might be able to to help you so we are alone yes but we have the support from um i just forgot his name <laughs> uh melnax okay so melnax i will take this note here it's not too much important for us i'm not sure if we're going to meet him again so yeah so we get this boat um and uh let's see i would like to use random images so i think that she gets the boat and she just goes to the island uh how far is this island from from our island i will roll the six to see three okay it's not too far but i would say that maybe we could just check three times and see, actually, I'm going to get some cards here and see if we have some inspiration of what, what might happen here during this uh, uh, travel or trip. And I'm going to get these three cards. And I think when I see this card here, I see like, uh, like, uh, uh, like maybe about death and and actually says death door so uh, during this trip she's thinking about her husband and that he might actually be dead but she she doesn't know what happened to him so yeah I think that these these thoughts uh, are, are basically in, in her mind and she's like uh, worried about him uh, even even with these uh, unfortunately uh, unfortunate uh, story uh, here we see um, hmm. maybe this one here could tell me uh, about uh, that she's worried about the, the dangers that we, she might face in in this uh, island she doesn't know how it is but it is a place uh, with uh, full of, of trees. Maybe there is a small forest there, and yeah, and she's also worried about it. But she she hopes that she can fight through it and 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 find the oracle. Yeah. So I would say that for now, uh, just the trip just goes well. Or maybe we could just ask the oracle. Does the the, the trip or uh, the way through uh, uh, from the the her island to the oracle island go without any encounter or maybe could ask do we have an encounter and the answer is no but we don't have an encounter but these um, thoughts in her mind uh, makes her worried about the, the situation this uncertainty so he she's a little bit um, yeah how can I say that like the anxiety uh, has been has been taking place in in her mind at this moment. So we just arrive to this island and another island. Great. And as I said, forests. You see that? 
So I think she should just reach like a not the beach, but like a, I I would imagine some some kind of rocks, and then she she tries to find a place where she can put the or she can just um, put the boat there in order to come back afterwards. Uh, I, I is 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 the sea uh, calm? Yes, and yeah, so it's it's really calm, no waves, no wind, so it's it's really uh, a quiet day. Uh, how is the weather? Actually, five, so I would say it's great weather. It's a sunny day, not too hot. So so far, everything is good to her, and she's able to find a spot where she can put the, the boat. Then she she just goes through this. Uh, um, she should just go into the forest. Um, in order to find like a, a place, may, maybe someone told her, like, okay, you need to go to this direction, and once you are there, you will find your way to the oracle. Uh, does more people live here in this island? I don't think so. So the only way that it's going to be yes is if I roll a five or a six. So no, this island is it's only her. We never heard something about someone else living here. And yeah, so uh, am I able to find like a, a trail? Um, maybe someone just told me, maybe Melnax told me that I should just park here and, 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 and I would find a trail. Do, do I? find this trail maybe i could just check maybe i could roll wheel and just to see i need to roll under 11 16 so no so i would say that initially we are a little bit lost so we just start walking randomly uh i think she marks uh some trees in order to find her place uh her way back to to, to the boat uh, so let's see what what could happen here. So uh, I've got just four cards now, and okay, when I see these, I imagine a trap. Okay, so I will just discard the other cards, and then I will just keep this one. So I think that uh, she, as as she is walking, and as this uh, oracle or witch or crazy old lady who lives here, she doesn't want to have visitors, probably. I think she has, she has some traps set uh, in the forest. And this is going to be exactly the case here. So she is walking. And I imagine these kind of traps that grab your, your, your feet and then pull you, and then you are upside down in the tree. So I imagine some, something like that, or maybe like a, like a, a, a net that grabs you. Yeah, I prefer the net. So what I think that we are going to try to do now, actually, we do not see the trap, or do we see? I will first roll wheel to see if we can notice this trap. And 10, wow, great, actually we can see it. So I think that as she is moving, suddenly she notices that something's different. Maybe it was supposed to have leaves, uh, on top of this net, but maybe a, a, a wind from from just moved it, some leaves, and we can see that there is something there. We do not know exactly what it is. It might be a trap. It might be something else. So what we do? Uh, we do not know, right? So I think what I'm going to do, actually, Drelio, Drelio would do is just grab her staff. And maybe from a safe distance, she would try to poke uh, this um, thing under the leaves just to see what it is. Uh, the, does this does this uh, movement trigger the trap? I would say 50%. No, it doesn't. So she just moves some leaves, and then eventually she, she can see. Um, the, the the net there uh so she knows that she is close right because if she sees a trap here it means that the oracle might be nearby so 
as we already move it, I would say that we are a few minutes walking, maybe 10, 15 minutes walking in the forest, and then we see these marking the trees and so on. I would allow her to check again against her will in order to find some tracks because now we found a trap here. So we, it, it might be possible that we have some tracks. And six, she succeeded. And as I think that uh, traps are very possible, actually tracks are very possible to be here, I would say that um, if we roll uh, three, or four, five, or six is a yes. Do we have tracks? Yes, definitely. Yes, and. Yes, and. So in this case, I think that she she finds some tracks. And actually, if it is a yes, and, it's not only the tracks, but I think that she sees the oracle. She sees, not exactly the oracle, we, we find some tracks. We do not know if they belong to her or not, because we are not a ranger, right? And actually not tracks, we find a trail. Ah, we are not a ranger, we are butcher. So we do not know too much about it. So we just find a trail. And by following this trail cautiously, uh, I think that we see something, yeah? So I will try to get some more cards here and let's see if some, some, something can bring uh, inspiration to me. And I like it. I like this one here. It seems like a tree, tree house. So maybe this is what she sees. She sees this house, she follows the trail. So she not only finds the trail, but she follows it and actually it leads her to uh, what it seems to be like a big tree house. Great. So I think she would try to move cautiously, right? We do not know if someone is there or not. Uh, do we see any signs of, of uh, someone there like uh, smoke uh, or maybe some lights do, do we see any signs signs of, of people there 50% and the answer is yes but okay so uh, as it is a yes but I would say that we are not sure actually it seems that there is someone there maybe maybe we just heard some noise yeah, just a strange noise. Uh, we can't see any smoke or any light, but we heard something. But I think uh, le let me th let me see what kind of noise could it be. So water, some kind of. It seems that someone is washing something. I think this is what we see, what we hear actually. It seems that maybe. Uh, behind the house, someone is washing. So we, we hear this, um, this noise. Okay. So I think she would try to approach cautiously because we know that we might have some traps here. We already found one. So we might have more traps. So first, I will roll her dexterity uh, or actually will to see if she can find a safe place um, to the house. Five. Okay. Do we have traps? And I think it's uh, very likely. So we, we won't have traps if I roll one and two. Do we have traps? Yes, we do. So I think, are they mortal traps? No, they are not. No, but but they could inflict damage. So maybe she sees um, some spikes uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a place. Maybe she sees that uh, there is like this uh, hole in the ground, uh, covered in leaves like a, a pit uh, on the floor. So she, 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 she sees them and she tries to avoid all of them by rolling dexterity and eight great so she's able to find her path to the house without trigger 
any traps. And she keeps here this uh, watch. Does he hear some uh, voice also? 50%. No, but she doesn't hear any voice. But I think she hears that someone is there. It's not only water, uh, like someone washing, but maybe she hears other kind of noise, maybe steps also. Okay. Um, but once again, I, it is... Okay, now that we are close to the house, does this noise come from inside or from behind the house, like a, a back backyard or something? Is, is it from the house, inside the house? Yes, but... Okay, it's from the house, but it's not in the main floor. I think it has at least one to three, so three floors here. So I think it comes from the top. So she, is there any window? I think that we, we might have a window, right? Definitely there is a window, but I'm not sure if we have an open window. So I would say that we do have an open window. Uh, it's very likely, but if I roll one or two, it's not going to have any wind open window here. Four. So, yes, we find a window that it's open, actually really close to the door. So, we will not try the door. Or do, would we? Mm. Actually, Drello, she doesn't want to be... Uh, sh she needs her help, right? So, it doesn't make sense just to, to break into her house. So I think she would just say, hello, is there someone there? Um, Lady Oracle? <laughs> do, do we know her name? Uh, no, but we do not know her name exactly. But maybe we have some kind of name that sounds, we, we think it is her name, but no one actually knows. So let me roll just a random name here just to see what we could have and six is Drello. No, it's the same name. It's impossible. I'm not the Oracle. So let me roll again. 16, Sibyl. Uh, so Miss Sibyl, are you there? Uh, when she says this, does the water sound stops? And I think probably yes. So the only way that it's no if it's a row if I roll one or two, three, okay. So yes, but so the but is that the washing uh, sound stops. Maybe the other noises also stops. But no one replies. We don't hear anything else. Everything just stopped. It. So I think she she knocks the door. Miss Sibyl, are you there? Please, I need your help. Does anyone replies? No. Okay, um, I don't want to to inflict inflict any arm, um, but I really need your help, so I, I'm coming in. Okay, and she checks the door. Is the door open? Yes, it is open. So she opens the door. And I think that the sound of the door opening, and then she sees the house, the first floor of this house. Is this house big? Yes, yes, but it's not too big. Three three floors, so maybe we, we have even a basement. It was initially a tree house, but it's a big house for a tree house. <laughs> so let me see, what, what does she see when it, she is inside? So let me get some five cards now. Let's see what they can. Oh, hmm. Maybe this one here. I must confess that I was in doubt between these two. Okay, I have an idea. What I think that we sh she sees there is is a frozen frozen woman. She sees like this old woman frozen in place, static. 
like like in an ice cube or close to it and as she sees it she she approaches would she approach i think cautiously yes and then maybe she she just says miss sibyl miss sibyl are, are you right do, do you need any help and she approaches this uh, frozen woman that she believes that it is sibyl I, is it sibyl i think probably yes so the only way that's not her if it's one or two it's, yes definitely yes and it's, it is it is her maybe we can see maybe maybe Melnax told us about her clothes and described her to us and uh, to, to 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 Drello and Drello is is able to see that it, it is her but what happened to her and I have an idea what I think is that she actually for some reason she maybe experimenting some stuff maybe she has spells or something like that but what i think that we are going to have here is kind of um an elemental a water elemental or ice elemental and there is this a cairn bestiary here let me see if there is something like this uh, elemental water uh yes there is but there is no ice so I will just get this elemental water. It's here. Okay. So this, the, the 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 water sound that she she listened was this elemental there that was doing something uh, upstairs. But now. We know that the noise was just just stop it. So yeah. So what I think that happens is that she hears this water sound again, and she looks at the stairs and she sees this water flowing and and forming uh, some kind of actually I, I I imagine more like a golem or. Yeah, more like a ice golem. Uh, there is just original golem, but I imagine some kind of golem, like uh, maybe sh uh, maybe the the. Uh, let me see if I can find this uh, golem, golem, golem. What is it? G O G O. I thought that it was in alphabetical order. Where is it? I saw it. Golan 15. So 15. Golan. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, so, but made of ice. So it's not going to be exactly these, but. Uh, I think, yeah, so this is great. What I think that is going to happen here is that um, we hear that something is approaching. That's the point here. So um, I think that Drelu is there watching and uh, looking at Sibyl face, frozen face, trying to see if she's alive. Uh, does she move? I don't think so. So the only way that she will move is it is if I roll like a six only. Three. No, she doesn't move. Uh, do we see something nearby? I think so. I think that we, we might have something nearby. Maybe an artifact or maybe something that she was using um, when this happened. So let me see. Uh, brain. Hmm. Explosion. I, I, I like these actually. I think we see like a an artifact, like a, a we see like some some kind of magical item, an amulet, a relic, or something. Maybe maybe on the floor. Yeah, and then uh, Drelio just takes it. I do not know what it does, 
but she, she just takes it and then she looks at this and she sees exactly something like this. And then she's, she's like, well, what is it? What, what, what happened to you, Miss Sybil? How can I help you? And then we hear that something is approaching. So uh, we, we can try to leave or we can try to hide. And I think that Trello wants to, to help Sybil because Sybil could help her. Uh, so I think she would try to hide somewhere. So let me roll dexterity first. And I wrote a three, meaning that we succeeded in it. And she is able to hide. Let me see where she can hide. And I will use more images here. Uh, whoa, this is the image that I was um, thinking. So you see like something made of ice. It's kind of a golem. And uh no these images they do not help me too much but what i think actually that maybe she goes under the stairs so what she sees is basically through the every stair she can see the steps and she sees this uh, uh ice feet and walking down the stairs and then she just stays in her place she never sees something like this so i would request actually a wheel check from her in order to uh, avoid that she does any kind of noise like a fear check 10 <laughs> great so she succeeded and i think that she sees that this golem this creature this ice creature uh uh on the floor and maybe it goes to 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 see bills uh it looks at her and of course it is looking for something because this creature heard a noise i'm not sure if this creature is intelligent i don't think so but i will ask if it is a five or six it's going to be a yes is this creature intelligent no it's not Okay, otherwise it could say something, but it's not the case here. It's just a, a regular creature. Ah, okay, so what Relu could try to do... Uh, I, I think that once Relu is, is, is hidden, maybe she sees something that could help her. Maybe, maybe she sees some kind of book or description, something. Is there something? that she, she, she sees uh, close to, to Drelio or something that could help her. Yes, and, okay, okay, I, I already understand. Actually, I think that as this creature approaches, the relic in her hand starts to, 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 uh, to blink, maybe. Yeah, she sees some kind of light on it and and she thinks okay maybe this is related to this is this is something that maybe this holds the power that uh yeah so so she, she, she just understand that this is linked to the creature but what exactly it does what what should we do with it i have no idea so what we are trying to do going to try to do is um, maybe leave the house. I think we should leave the house now. But I would say, does the creature stay here in the living room? Or, uh, yeah, that, that's the question. Does the creature stay in the living room? Yes. Okay. So we, we cannot go. Do, do I see anywhere that I can go? Definitely not. There is nowhere. We are trapped here. And this thing is is, grow, is glowing. Glowing is the word I was trying to find. So this relic is, is glowing. And does it make any sound? Yes. Oh, man. Okay. So and at, it glows. It glows. It's, 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 it emits it, uh, some uh, strange sound. Like, like, like a refrigerator <laughs> sound. Uh, when it turns on and and then she does this sound bring the creatures uh, attention and I think yes so 
the only way that it's a no if it's a row a one or two so the answer is yes so the creature just hears this sound and turns is this creature slow no so i would say no but so it's not fast it's not slow it's just normal so this creature just moves and then i would say that maybe we have the opportunity just to run as soon as this creature turn we run through uh through the window right there is an open window we know that so i'm just going to roll a dexterity check and i rolled a 20. <laughs> okay so she tries to roll to run as the creature sees but the creature just uh, 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 it's it's not too fast but it's fast enough to block her path and the creature sees that she is holding this relic and it is posing and doing this noise and then Drello just says uh, sorry uh, I, I I don't want to do anything uh, bad to you. Uh, I, I just found this. I, I just need to to talk to to, to Sibyl. Uh, please, I, I, I don't want to do. And then she she, she just she, she shows that she is not uh, a danger. I do not know if this creature is actually bad or not. Uh, what I think is that it is just a bad experimentation that Sibyl was doing and this creature now is here. So I would ask, is this creature, or actually I could just roll the dice and depending on the number, if it's a six, it's very friendly. If it, if it is a six, it's very friendly. But if it is a one, it's very hostile. Three. Okay, I would say that three is like neutral. So I think the creature does, doesn't do anything. Just look at her as she tries to explain why she's there and that she doesn't want to do anything and so on. She, she just needs to, to the Sibyl's help. But the creature is not intelligent, but it's also neutral. So I think for, for, for a while, the creature just stops there and look at her, meaning that we need to do something. And I don't have any clue of what we need to do here. Uh, let me see if an image can bring some kind of inspiration. Because this is the challenge, challenge in the end. Hmm. Magma spray. Okay. Hmm. No. Maybe there are some... Ah, the, the, the challenge is to use the image, not to use the text, because I could just read the text and try to, to see if something helps. But no, unfortunately, let me get another four cards. And okay. What I'm what I'm seeing here is the creature doesn't seem to be to be hostile, but it doesn't seem to be friendly also. So does this um, relic, uh, is this, I think that this relic could uh, increase the intensity of the posing and and even the, the the noise if i approach the creature so i'm going to ask this does does the relic change its behavior as we approach this creature yes okay so i think it's it's like a heartbeat <laughs> and then we, we approach and what the creature does what the creature does? Does the creature stays there and see me approaching with this relic, posing relic? Is does the creature just does the creature does something? No, 
it does not. So this image now makes sense to me. Because I think that Daryl Drelu just approached with this relic and as I think she touched the creature, maybe in the chest. What happens when we do this? What happens? I do not know. Oh, I see two things here, actually. Actually, I see a lot of things here. <laughs> what I see? I see that as soon as we do this, the creature starts to melt down. Like in pieces. And it's dead. <laughs> and when I look at Sibyl, I see that Sibyl actually, there is this um, glowing effect around her, like a glowing air aura. And the, the ice also starts to melt down. And then Sibyl just, just falls on the floor. Is she awakened? Yes. So she's freezing. She's freezing, but she's alive. And I think that it's just a matter of a of, of few seconds until uh, Drelu just gets something to, like a, a fur, like some pelts or something like that, just to, to keep her uh, uh, warm. And I think Sibyl just looks at her and says, Thank you. Thank you. And freezing. But... Who are you? And we stop here. Yeah, I think that's it. And this is enough <laughs> for one shot because I have used some images, random images from these magic cards and to, to build my one session, my one shot session. And yeah, I think this is enough. And that's it. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye bye.